Other interesting business news, you have Apple scrapping their plans to make their own watch displays. Now, this shouldn't be too surprising since, again, Apple is really a software company. They just happen to also make a little bit of hardware, and even then, it's mostly Foxconn. Now, this again comes to us to Mr. Rob again. He's staying busy, Mr. Rob Sachs. And he, again, editor at LinkedIn News, and he says Apple drops their in-house watch display, which is coming just weeks after they canceled their electric vehicle idea which again would have been a huge transformation the company tried to get into the automotive industry which on average is one of the most competitive industries and historically speaking most difficult to enter i mean the, the last successful american car company from a star perspective was chrysler and then tesla every other one of them has failed rivian is still losing about 40 40 45 000 per unit sold so they're moving in the right direction, but still they're in a precarious situation when they needed to raise yet more funds. It's extremely difficult to get into automobiles and it's a much harder sale. It's really apples to oranges when you look at Apple, pun not really intended now that I think about it. Because again, an iPhone, Americans will buy every year or two, or if they like to make things last, they'll buy an Android like me and make it last years. But nevertheless, it's a relatively easy sale. An automobile, the life cycle, most Americans will keep their cars around, I think the average age of a car on the road in the U.S. is around 12 years old. People usually keep them for about seven years. It's one of the largest, most complex things you'll ever buy. So not too surprised they, you know, spent 10 years research to development. They decided to, they're not going to do that route. Now, this one might sound a little more surprising because, again, when you look at the Apple ecosystem, the watches are extremely popular. People love spending hundreds but hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a very fancy watch. Or just be like me and get a gold Garmin that's, darn near bulletproof i'm i'm honestly surprised it's lasted this long it's well like 10 years and i got used from a buddy but nevertheless now going back to the article they noted that this was a seven year effort to make their own displays which again they're looking at the led or oled displays on the apple watch and they're about you know yay big and it looks like this was cited through bloomberg and anonymous sources they noted that the brighter screens featured micro led technology were going to be used in the future version of Apple Watch and potentially other products, but the plans were too costly and complex, forcing Apple to eliminate several dozen engineering roles in the US and Asia. Apple's current display relies on designs from LG and Samsung SDI for now. Apple sees organic LEDs or OLEDs are the best option for the smartwatch, which, yeah, considering the huge benefits of OLEDs, one of the biggest means they use less energy to actually use. Yeah, that would make perfect sense for a watch. Now, that being said, they're already best in breed for that. Again, manufacturing, you don't make a lot of margin on average. That's why when you look at the startups in the United States from a venture capitalist perspective, there's not a lot of manufacturers getting funding. A lot of software companies, a lot of tech companies. Because again, you just put it in the cloud or have a couple servers in the closet, rudimentary speaking. But when it comes to the actual Apple displays, I mean, LG is already the industry leader. Samsung also, then Sony. If you look at the mass producer of displays from you know, watches to TVs, those are the three major manufacturers. Now that being said, there are a lot of companies who just, they do OEM, or Sony will make it, they'll slap on a different logo. Interestingly enough, there are only, we see this with a lot of industries and a lot of products like microwaves. There's only a couple of companies actually manufacturing that. There are many people designing them, but at the end of the day, there's only a couple of factories actually dedicated to the manufacturer of that. Now with, I mean, LG, that was the first mass produced consumer grade OLED on the market when it comes to TV displays. So I wouldn't be too surprised if, again, they're just going to size it down a little bit. And especially in this case, LG really is a competitor. If they have a watch, I've never heard of it. And I don't think that'd be that big, be that big of an issue. Most of the hardware with Apple is actually manufactured by Foxconn, who also is one of the major actually assemblers and builders of the phone when it comes to uh, well, not just their phone, but their other tech in general. So again, I think we're going to see more and more of these companies trying to cut these types of pet projects where... Again, they probably ran the numbers. It makes a lot more sense just to have that outsourced. And again, the big thing you're paying for with Apple, yes, it has a beautiful, elegant design. They have some brilliant designers over there, but you're really also paying a, more, a big part to be part of the Apple ecosystem, the software, the whole user interface. Why should you manufacture your own screen? Just because you make, make maybe you'll make one or two more points of profit or profit margin points on it. But then again, you also have to worry with the factory, the employees, all the all the chemicals, all the components to manufacture it. And then they, I just don't think it made fiscal sense as well. So I think this year there's gonna be a lot of companies 
there's gonna be a lot of them just cutting pet projects. They're gonna be cutting a lot of these initiatives and they're gonna start focusing more on their core competencies and where they can make the most, most revenue and the most profit because it's gonna be a rough year for most businesses as you know, it's kind of cliche to say, but every election year, no matter who's running, there's always most businesses perceiving that as instability in the market because they don't know maybe they'll have more face more regulation scrutiny. Truth be told, Apple is actually currently facing a lawsuit by the Department of Justice accusing them of making and maintaining a monopoly. So yet another reason why it probably makes sense for them not to expand their current offerings or current manufacturing capabilities at the moment. Now, let me know, do you care who actually makes the display for the Apple Watch? Or are you going to buy it regardless? Because at the end of the day, Apple is still designing it. They're still, you know, they're still architecting the whole design. They're specking it out. They're in charge. They're overseeing the manufacturing. And then eventually just get shipped over from China to URI. Or in India, where they actually are ramping up their capabilities quite impressively this year. As always, as cliche as it might sound, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would really appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment, or sharing the video is a great way to assist me letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.